Hello friends, today we're going to discuss adding audio and video sources to XSplit Broadcaster. First up, let's have a look at connecting external capture cards. Click on the sources menu, then select devices, then video, and finally click on the capture card you have connected, which should be shown in this menu. If you have a console connected to your capture card, and depending on what type of capture card you have, you'll see the video from your console appear in Expert Broadcaster. You can now arrange, resize, and reposition to your heart's content. Please note that if you're capturing an HD console using USB 2.0, you will experience an input lag. This is due to the bandwidth limitations of USB 2.0. To add a webcam, you follow the exact same steps. Select the sources menu, then devices, then video, and click on the webcam you have connected, which of course can be resized and repositioned as you like. To change a webcam from a 4x3 to a 16x9 aspect ratio, right click on the webcam in the source list. Click on the cam tab, then click on the configure menu and select video output. In the resolution drop down menu, select a 16x9 resolution, such as 640x360. Click OK when finished. Finally, let's talk setting up audio sources. XSplit will auto detect whatever microphone you have connected to your PC, but you can change which one by going to Tools, selecting Settings, clicking the Audio tab, and then selecting your microphone in the microphone drop down menu. System sounds capture what sounds your PC makes, such as gameplay audio. It's best to leave this set to default speakers. You can add additional audio sources in from the Devices menu as well. And that's how you set up audio and video devices in Expert Broadcaster. For more information, check out expert.com and be sure to follow us on social media.